What's up, everybody? Uh, once again, I want to share a couple of pops with you that I just received. Uh, these all came in the mail. And I'm actually going to start off with some um, some viewer mail here. Now, this actually arrived in a bubble mailer, which had me a little bit confused at first because I'm not used to getting things, you know, in a in a bubble mailer because, you know, I mainly get pop figures from people. Either I order them or people send them my way. So, yeah, it's very rare for me to get anything in a, uh, a bubble mailer. But this actually is two pop figures, and they're out of box. That's why they were sent in a bubble mailer, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely understand that. And, um... These were sent to me by uh, two viewers, Kane and Nelly. I think Nelly's how you say that name. Uh, Kane and Nelly, they decided to send these my way. They actually sent me an email first letting me know that these were on the way. So, um, yeah, I very much appreciate these. And these actually relate to something that I was talking about recently on my channel. So we have here two horror pops. And um, if you follow my videos, you know I was recently talking about what it would be like if Funko possibly had a horror subscription box. So, as far as these pops are concerned, I actually don't have an Annabelle pop at all. And um, I guess I let it slip my mind, or she may still have been on, on my wish list. I can't even remember for sure. But I know I wanted to get the blood splattered Annabelle because that's one of the few blood splatter pops that actually, you know, the blood splatter really does make it stand apart from the other, the common pop here. You know, so I actually like that blood splatter pop. And um, when they sent these, they by the way, they said that uh, these would be good to get customized because I'm pretty sure they realize I already have Freddy Krueger. So, you know, that's cool. And um, this Annabelle, though, I might just go ahead and keep her as is. And I think I might still try to track down the blood splattered one. I think I still would like to have that in my collection because, like I said, the blood splatter looks really good on it. And I actually did enjoy the second Annabelle movie. I didn't bother with the first because I heard nothing good about it. But I think I will check out the third one as well, since that one actually will feature um, the main characters from um, The Conjuring, finally. You know, them interacting with the doll and everything. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out that movie. And then, as far as Freddy Krueger is concerned, like I said, of course, I already have a Freddy Krueger. And I do have the Freddy Krueger with syringes um, on the fingers as well. This one... I think I do want to get customized and um, I actually have an idea for it already. I just got to find an artist that could pull it off. But yeah, I definitely have a concept in mind. And as a matter of fact, I mentioned uh, that concept in that video that I did about Funko possibly, you know, what it would be like if they had a horror subscription box. So if you checked out that video, you might know exactly what I want to do with this Freddy Krueger. I've seen some people have Freddy Krueger customized to where the skin looks more realistic and I'm not a fan of that. That actually looks pretty gross, you know, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I do have an idea of mine and I will see if I can get that worked out with a custom artist. And by the way, I am looking for some more um, custom artists to feature on my channel. So yeah, if you know, if you are a custom artist or you know a custom artist, you know, definitely uh, reach out to me via my email address, which is in the description. But yeah, I really do appreciate these Kane and Nelly. I hope I'm saying um, the, the name right, uh, Nelly. I hope I'm saying that right. I think that's what it is. But um, yeah, I really do appreciate these. Now, I will say um, I'm also looking forward to, as far as the Conjuring franchise is concerned, you know, they have these spinoffs and everything. Now, The Nun, I didn't bother to see that. I've heard nothing good about that one either. But definitely let me know if you think that The Nun still deserves a Funko Pop figure. You know, if you've seen the movie or you're just a fan of the character, let me know if you think The Nun should have a Pop I really would like to see the Crooked Man as a pop figure, and I hope that movie turns out well, because I really like that character in the second Conjuring movie. And uh, with Freddy Krueger, you know, A Nightmare on Elm Street, I think they are going to try another reboot. Um, you know, the last reboot did not work at all, even though they had a very talented actor playing Freddy Krueger. He just is so tough to live up to Robert England. Um, so... Yeah, if they try it again, I'm you know I'm not not gonna have any ill will towards it. I hope it works out, but uh, yeah, it's very tough to follow up Robert England because he just owns that character so much. But uh, yeah, again, Kane and Ellie, thank you so much for sending these figures my way. Now sometimes I will order for from certain companies trying to get the Chase figure. And uh, but there are times when I get the chase and I'm like, oh, well, you know, now I still want the common as well. Or I want the the other exclusive version of it. So that's the case with the pop that I'm holding right now. I actually got the chase first and it came from Entertainment Earth because this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. But then I decided I wanted their other exclusive variant as well. So we have here the black and white Betty Booth. 
Now, funny enough, I actually don't have the original common Betty Boop and Pudgy that Funko put out, which is the full color version. And I'm actually not sure if I'm going to worry about that because it actually does look so close to the Sweetheart Pop. It just doesn't have Pudgy along with it. But I mean, who knows? Eventually, maybe I will end up being a Betty Boop completionist. Um, the only Betty Boop Pop that I really am not a fan of, like I'm truly not a fan of, is uh, the Nurse Betty Boop. And that's just because... It's a bit cringy to me, the whole nurse outfit thing. I mean, they might as well have her in a French maid outfit. You know, it's, it's a little bit cringy to me. But um, yeah, the other Betty Boop Pops, I really have been enjoying the look of them. The Angel and Devil Betty Boop, I might get those as well. You know, if I see the pair together um, at a good price, then maybe. But um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Betty Boop as, you know, the mermaid. That one looks pretty cool. And that one I think will look great with a glitter paint job. And uh, the Sock Hot Betty Boop is one of the ones I'm trying to track down right now as well. You know, and speaking of horror, I really do want to get the Pet Cemetery um, pop set with, um, well, it's not really a set, but you know, it's, uh, it has Gage and Church together. I want to get that, and I want to get the Sock Hot Betty Boop, and I was trying to find them online together. But it seems like most retailers have either one or the other in stock. So, I don't know, I might have to actually hit the stores and um, see if I can find those two together. But yeah, this one, I like it. You know, the, this is just that classic Betty Boop because it is black and white. You know, she started off as a black and white cartoon. So yeah, I just figured I had to have this one in the collection as well. And I do like the look of it and it did ship in great condition. Unfortunately, when I got the chase from Entertainment Earth, the box did have a slight uh, damage on the corner, I believe, one of the corners. But, it was, you know, it's not too bad. And I knew I was going to keep it in my collection regardless. So yeah, now, like I said, I had this other one here. Now, speaking of corner damage on a pop, unfortunately, this one does have that damage. And again, you know, it's lucky that I'm not super picky about boxes, but th this does annoy me just a little bit because this is a pretty cool figure here that I ordered from Hot Topic, and it is a Hot Topic exclusive. So we have here the Death of the Family Joker. And like I said, it did arrive with, um, you know, some corner damage there. It's, it's just good that I'm not a total box knob, you know, that I'm not like too, too picky. But yeah, that does annoy me just a little bit, you know, but this is a very cool looking figure. I still have not read this actual comic yet. I need to get the uh, collected edition, you know, the um or like graphic novel format of it because I really would like to read the storyline and see what it's all about. This pop, I definitely do want to get out and take a look at it because it looks like it has some pretty twisted details to it. Oh, I didn't even look at this yet. I didn't see the um this artwork on the back. That's pretty cool there. Joker there sitting with the straight jacket on. And of course you see that sh that um silhouette. It's almost like the opposite silhouette though because it's actually light color there of Batman. And I wonder if that's meant to evoke like a tombstone because that it almost has that feel. At first that's what I thought it was actually, but it actually is the shape of Batman back there. So that's some clever artwork there. I like that um the way that they did the Joker's name there as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this out and we will take a look at it. This really feels like a horror pop. I mean, it's based off a of comic, but obviously, you know, they you could say they have some horror elements going on. Now, I know some of the storyline of the death of, of the family just from hearing people talk about it. Obviously, the Joker's face was cut off here, which uh, I think I think people may have said he did this to himself. I can't even remember for sure, but his face was cut off and then placed back on him. And I feel like they actually did that in the Gotham series I, I don't follow the Gotham series but I feel like I saw some clips of it where the same thing happened yeah actually I do remember um, the character now actually using a staple <laughs> staplers to um, you know staples to kind of keep his face on that's pretty twisted but uh yeah so I don't know the full storyline and honestly I, I really I know some people um, you know may want to share some um, details about it but please don't because I already know more than I really want to know about the storyline and I will check it out so yeah please don't try to give me too many details about the comics you know I, I will check it out but I will say we know with this pop with the details that it has um, a custom artist really could make this even creepier by taking I mean it's already creepy enough here where you can see you know beneath the skin there that's that's pretty nasty looking there I almost wish they had done that kind of all the way around because here it's just a flat red color you know the really flat red color there but that really makes it look creepy up there you know with the lines going on and everything beneath the skin yeah so um yeah custom artists really could make this even creepier and stand out even more yeah the hair color too I think on um, the hair color 
I mean, obviously it's green, you know, it's the Joker, but I don't know, there's something about it that's just a little bit flat in terms of the color, so I think that could have been livened up as well. I do like the outfit he's wearing here, of course, you know, representing Joe's garage there, and it has, all you know, the tool belt and all that going on, but the thing that's really twisted about it, of course, is the hammer there that actually does have some blood on it, and it's subtle. I, I like, too, how subtle the blood is on there, it does, you know, it looks somewhat natural instead of just completely smeared on there which is actually you know an even creepier detail there and i do like his pose as well and the way, the way he's posed he should stand pretty well he doesn't come with a stand i don't think he needs one because the feet are pretty wide and then with the way they're positioned from each other this one should stand just fine so yeah like i said i don't know much about it so i can't say a whole lot about it but i do look forward to reading the comic yeah i look forward to checking that out and this is you know this really uh, motivates me more to go ahead and check out that comic and see what it's all about because man this is very twisted looking but i like it you know like i said overall this is a very cool pop and if you haven't tracked this down yet um of course if you don't have a hot topic in your area keep checking the website because i know he's already been um uh, available again on the website more than once so yeah don't give up on it yet if you have not tracked this figure down yet one more detail I gotta point out those teeth man these, these teeth really do look nasty up close <laughs> so yeah Funko did a good job overall with the details of this the final figure here I didn't even realize it was on the way but um, I'm so glad that it's here it looks really awesome and I'm not gonna have space for it up here so I will uh, take it out of box and I will show you some um, footage of it but man, this looks absolutely incredible. So we have here the Amazon exclusive 10 inch giant man. Take a look at that. This thing looks really cool. And um, you know, if you follow my channel, then you know that I really am a big fan of Ant-Man's costume. I like the character too. And you know, of course, Paul Rudd does an amazing job playing that character. But yeah, I'm, I'm mainly a fan of the suit. It's one of my favorite suits in um, you know, the MCU. And that's why I have been such a uh, Ant-Man somewhat completionist. I think I have all the Ant-Man figures except for, um, ironically enough, I don't have the common. And that's because the common and the glow-in-the-dark look exactly the same. So I have the glow-in-the-dark uh, version of the common. And then um, I don't have the classic Ant-Man, but of course that's a different suit. But you know, as far as MCU Ant-Man, I've been somewhat of a completionist with it. Except for the uh, supporting characters, even though I might go back and get some of the supporting characters. But uh, yeah, this is very cool. And it's actually different from the common because, you know, since it is Giant Man and he um, uses the color blue, I mean, the color blue, you know, represents him um, enlargening, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, you see some blue details in there. It's for the most part the same sculpt and everything, but it just has those blue details going on to show that, yeah, this is Giant Man. So like I said, I can't even, um, <laughs> you know, take this out to put it up there right now, but I will show you some footage to let you see exactly what this figure looks like. This is very cool and very well done. I actually think I will take it out right now, but like I said, I'm going to put some separate footage so you can get a better look at it. As far as displaying this in my collection, I'm going to have to figure something out because I don't know if there's enough space now where my other Ant-Man figures are to fit this guy here because he is so large. So I will have to try to figure that out. But yeah, this is totally worth it for me. Um, and if you were able to get this figure, let me know if you're happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it. I'm very picky when it comes to the 10 inch figures because of space, obviously. But like I said, this is one I definitely wanted to have and it arrived in perfect condition from Amazon. Amazon. I know some people have had some issues sometimes getting pops from Amazon, but this one for me, like I said, it arrived in great condition. It actually came in a giant sorter, you know, so it was boxed within a box. So they did a great job with it, and I'm really happy to have this into my collection now. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Just wanted to share those few pops with you. And um, like I said, I think I'm going to go on a hunt. And if I happen to see the Pet, Cem Pet Cemetery pops and also that uh, Sakai Betty Boop together, then I think I may go ahead and get those two together because I know some stores have some sales going on right now. So those are really the main two that I'm going to be on the hunt for. But yeah, again, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for taking the time to check it out. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.